What's up, guys? Came across this link uh, while doing my regular interneting this morning, and uh, it touches a particular nerve with me because this certainly wasn't a thing when I went to school. For those of you who are unaware, I'm about 35 years old right now, and I've been in the education sector working as an online tutor for the last four years or so. And I've tutored students much younger than myself and much older than myself. And over the years, this has become a new thing that different schools and universities are starting to implement um, called e-proctoring. And for those of you who don't know what it is, um, because for instance, this wasn't a thing when I went to school, uh, e-proctoring is the process of like let's say you're a student and you want to take a class online and you have a how do you say a um gosh damn it a test that you have to take so when you log in to take your test they're basically going to be monitoring you the entire time uh they're going to be looking through your camera they're going to be checking your tabs they're going to be making sure or at least doing everything in their power possible to make sure that you're not cheating on whatever test it is that you're taking. But there's a lot of problems with this particular approach to academic honesty and integrity. A lot of them from not only a philosophical perspective, but also from a technical implementation perspective, um, an ethical perspective, et cetera, et cetera. There's so much totalitarian, authoritarian, and just wrong um, with this particular uh, service. Now, I haven't used the test my face instance, but um, apparently uh, these algorithms are uh, less able to detect dark-skinned faces, which I think is a very interesting caveat to this whole particular issue. Um, they even have a list of universities here, which is awesome. And actually, one of which is not listed, one that I'm aware definitely uses is Angelo State University. Um, it's nice to be able to go through and see which of these people are or are not using these particular softwares. I encourage everyone to contact and reach out to each of these universities who are using or might be using and even the ones who aren't using and just start the discussion and make this more of a public thing because it's honestly fucking disgusting and it does not contribute to a better education experience the fact of the matter is that a lot of people suffer from test anxiety and that's actually something that they discuss below here uh Test anxiety is a problem where people just don't test well, and there's a lot of reasons for it. Um, sometimes you're able to more clearly recall information when you're not under pressure. And in a testing environment, it's always just by, by de facto a under pressure environment. It's one reason that I haven't performed very well in live coding interviews, and yet I have an 100% success rate with students and achieving their needs and goals. So um, they offer a petition that they want you to sign. I highly encourage everyone to sign it. Let's go through the letter and just have this discussion. To school administrators, invasive proctoring apps are endangering the privacy and the education of students worldwide. This experimental technology can grant access to all corners of students' computers, gather biometric data, and use false science to decide if students are cheating or not. These proctoring apps are largely regulated, sorry, unregulated, and generally up to professionals, sorry, professors to implement. They unfairly put students' abilities to complete courses in jeopardy, expose their private information and images to abuse, and disproportionately impact black and brown students, students with disabilities, and low-income students. Inappropriate surveillance should not be a requirement for getting an education. We call on you to immediately make your policy firm and clear by banning proctoring apps from your institution entirely. And then, of course, you can always 
share the uh, petition once you've actually done it. Here's a here's the full letter. We, the undersigned, are calling for a ban of the use of e-proctoring programs in K through 12 schools and higher education. E-proctoring programs are invasive, dangerous, and fail to prevent academic dishonesty. They demonstrate systemic bias against non-white students, are harmful to students with testing anxiety, like I said earlier, and discriminate against students with disabilities. They also treat students as if they are guilty until proven innocent, which is a disrespectful and harmful stance for any academic institution to take. E-proctoring programs that include facial detection, recognition, or monitoring are notoriously unable to identify students of color, particularly black students. A federally funded study found that even the best facial recognition algorithms fail to work on black and brown people, trans and non-binary people, as well as chi sorry, children and women in general. As a workaround, they, there have been numerous accounts of students of color being forced to shine lights directly in their faces in order to be recognized by the software, which undoubtedly impacts testing performance. Many online proctoring programs record students and their rooms through webcams. This surveillance is not only invasive, but flags even mundane actions as potential cheating, like if a student reads a question out loud, a common testing strategy for people who learn differently. Eye tracking may flag too much movement compared to a baseless expectation by the algorithm. This is harmful because frequent eye movement can be easily be attributed to medical conditions, anxiety, learning differences, and or neurodivergences like ADHD or autism. Even e-proctoring solutions that do not use a video component force students to surrender an unacceptable amount of control over their devices to a third-party company, including browser histories, keystroke tracking, and the ability to change privacy settings. The databases these companies accrue on students have already been hacked and remain vulnerable. E-proctoring companies are facing numerous lawsuits for comprising sorry, compromising user data and misleading students about data collection practices, especially biometric data collection like face, voice, and fingerprints. Some students are suing their academic institutions for forcing them to use what amounts to glorified spyware in order to complete their classes. For the equity and privacy of all students, school administrators must ban the use of e-proctoring. These are all facts. There's nothing questionable about any of this. If you're on the side of the fence that is against e-proctoring, then you're certainly on the side of the villains in this story. I personally would not st would not have stood for it if I were going to university and they required me to. I'm actually curious, does my uh, alma mater require um, or use this stuff? Uh, UT Dallas is... Um, they do not have uh, the other UT items in the system, but if UT Dallas is, then most certainly the entire UT network is, and that's fucked up. Um, damn it. So, uh, there's a lot of reasons why this is bad, obviously. And so this is a discussion that I am highly encouraging everyone to start participating in. It should be a continuation of the discussions started by Chelsea Manning, as well as Edward Snowden and Julian Assange on the nature of the state safety apparatus and the surveillance state being extended into the education sector of all places, which is just fucking disgusting, has no place in that department whatsoever. Naturally, you're going to be watching, like, who's doing what, but, like, Jesus Christ, guys, come on now. Um, there's a lot more resources at the bottom of the page. Uh, highly encourage y'all to uh, go ahead and just blast this shit, because uh, it's not right. It's fucked up.